overlie portions of the Lolo Midrick National Forest to encourage the forest and the public to put some pressure on the DC Office of the Forest Service to provide funding to the forest so they can begin their uh, forest plan revisions. These forest plans are what guides forest management on these forests for a period of oh, 20 years. Every couple of decades, the forests are encouraged to update their plans and incorporate new science and new priorities. In Montana, there's already been three forests that have completed their plans. Uh, are in dire need of update, especially with the change in warming climates and the influx of recreation and all the things that are changing these days. How long does it take to uh, go start to finish with these plants? They take quite a while. Um, it varies. They're getting better under the new 2012 forest plan. They usually take about four years. And, uh, you know, one of the, the big things I think you're trying to accomplish is is to try to get this funding. So, and what what uh, makes it so expensive, and what what goes into that? Well, there's a lot of man hours. There's a lot of data collection. There's a lot of inventory. Um, it's a big plan right now. The Lolo is wants to get started, but they don't have the funding to do so. So, when you're talking dollars, what what's a number? Well, I've seen a. They vary uh, with the complexity and the size of the forest, but. In the past, I've seen uh, forest plans cost in the four to six million dollar range if they're completed like in four or five years. So now we're, this is the Bitterroot Valley here with the Lolo National Forest on both sides. And it's smoky. It's better now. I was worried it'd be worse than this. <laughs> so Scott, they've all known that they've got to do these plans for a decade now. Why are you concerned that they're not going to get the money for it or that they're not going to get enough money for it? There's a lot of competition out there uh, in the Department of Agriculture and there's a lot of priorities for different things. There's reasons why certain communities aren't ready to start planning. There's just not public support or they don't have the staff. They have what's called a tier system to rank their, their force that are ready to start plan revisions. And the, both the Lolo and the Midru in the Tier 1 and the Forest Services list of what's next on the list to start. There's a lot of concerns out there with this um, ginormous influx of recreation demand. I mean, everything's, everything's getting full and the demand continues. And that's another good reason to revise these plans. I mean, things have changed on the ground since 1986, and that's when this, last, this plan was last revised. So you can see how this land is buildable, and with the influx of, um, and the demand for housing, and et cetera, all this stuff needs to be protected. And recreation demands, noxious weeds, uh, longer warm seasons, fragmentation, population increase, I mean, we're watching the world change and Western Montana change right in front of our eyes.